Swerve wrestled Wheeler useless in the main event. The, the bell rang for five minutes to 10 o'clock. And the emaciated Shell Station attendant went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the world champion for a little while, but then Swerve got some heat on him and kicked him in the head and beat the shit out of him, and the referee stopped it. And Danielson came in to break it up, and Swerve bailed out and cut a promo on him from the aisle way. And then, after saying he would beat Brian Danielson up in front of his daughter at Wembley Stadium, then he turned around and left, and... Danielson went to check on Useless, and Swerve ran back out and kicked Danielson in the back of the head. That the looked end. good. That looked good. That was the best thing of the whole thing. The kick to the back of the head looked good. Yeah, you know, I believe you know why it looked good. Because he kicked him right in the back of the head. I believe because it was a tater. His boots were made out of potatoes. He kicked him right in the head. You know, again, you want to tell the story of him having to beat the protege of Danielson. I think they've wasted a lot of time with Yuta being the guy they've put in this position to be that guy. He just doesn't look the part. And I don't think it works at all. So Swerve took a little while to beat a guy that looks like he would have been a jobber on TV. Sorry, Dustin. Looks like he would have been an enhancement talent on Superstars in 1990. He would have been a jabroni on anything in 1990. So, yeah, they've done no favors to Swerve. Swerve probably hasn't done himself any favors either, just in terms of the creative stuff. And uh, the only thing I think people care about in AEW right now is the MJF Osprey stuff. And that, that's obviously not as hot as things have been in the past, but it was almost not on this show at all. That's the biggest thing in the company. Nothing about Kyle Fletcher. They had the MJF video early, the MJF Osprey video early in the show and the stuff from England. They had to be more in the second hour. I mean, just they should be just pounding. That's the big feud they have right now. It gets mentioned well, in the segment, and then it gets ignored the rest of the show. How are they gonna How are they gonna pound it when neither guy's there? Did they have to fly over early to do publicity or something? I don't think they had to, but Osprey's obviously from England, and MJF was he just wrestled in England. I don't know if he's still there or where he is. Maybe he got a few week vacation out of it. I don't know. Uh, it's Tony Khan. You never know. Well, anyway, where's the plumber? Where's Moxley? He's taking he, a break from uh, from Lord. AW. He's, he's <laughs> to, go ahead to lose in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fights that keep popping up, or, or uh, not even grappling tournaments that keep popping up online in from Newport, Kentucky. But I, I, he just gets to go when it. Maybe he's giving us a break. Is what it is. But he gets to go whenever he wants to. Do you think you need, again, we're not Moxley fans, and, you know, there has been talk in the past that he has, turned like, after booking vacation or time off, and he canceled it because AEW needed him. Everyone wants time off. Does AEW need someone with his stature in the company on a Wembley, or is it okay for a guy like that to miss that show? It's a, well... <laughs> My personal preference aside, and he's the worst wrestler in the world, and I could go the rest of my life without seeing him and never miss a second of it. He's one of the fucking big, high-paid, alleged names in the company. If I was Tony Khan and I'm running Wembley Stadium, I am packing this thing with, to quote MGM, more stars than there are in the heavens. And the, the idea that this is not all hands on deck is just insane to me. Not that you want to book 150 fucking guys on one show, but you want to book the 30 biggest fucking names you've got on the thing, don't you? You would think so, and we will uh, preview the pay-per-view uh, a little bit later. But, Jim, that was AEW Dynamite. It certainly was. We shall return...